Using call rerouting first alternatives, if phone is busy, in do not disturb, or fails to answer, the system can reroute the call to an alternate phone. First and second alternative rerouting can be controlled by whether the call is internal or from a DID or trunk. All calls regardless of origin can be rerouted to alternate phones. To program call rerouting first alternatives, click call routing. Click call handling. Click call rerouting first alternatives form. It is recommended to leave first alternative number one as default. Double click on first alternative number two. Change busy DID internal to this. Change no answer internal to this. Leave the remaining fields as normal. Enter a directory number. Click save. If the first alternative rerouting failed to answer, a second alternative can be used. To program call rerouting second alternatives, click call routing. Click call handling. Click call rerouting second alternatives form. It is recommended to leave second alternative number one as default. Double click on second alternative number two. Change busy DID no answer internal to this. Leave the remaining fields as normal. Enter a directory number. Click save. With alternative rerouting has been defined, you need to assign the call rerouting alternatives to the phones. Navigate to the call rerouting form. Double click on a phone. Enter the first alternative number two previously programmed. Enter the second alternative number two previously programmed. Click save. If this phone is busy in do not disturb or fails to answer, the call reroutes to the first alternative directory number. If the first alternative is unavailable, the call reroutes to the second alternative directory number.